what's up YouTube gecko girl here again um I literally could not wait for the genetics and mutations video so here it is and plus it's a good sequel to the breeding one right so this guy's is a crested gecko but not just any come back knock the phone down why don't you anyway and he zoomed in somehow. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, he's not just an any crested gecko. He is a Dalmatian crested gecko. And you can see the spots on him. If he will sit. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop, okay? So, anyway probably thinking what point am I trying to make here well here's a crested here's a crested Here's a crested. And you guys are probably thinking, again, okay, so what point are you trying to make? The point I'm trying to make is this is all the same animal. All three of these guys are the same animal. Not different subspecies or anything like that. The same exact species. And yet, look at all the different variation. And crested geckos are one of the species of um, reptile that has has yet to be really played around with that much with the genetics. There's probably like somewhere between 10, maybe 15 max morphs. I know there's brindle, tiger, dalmatian. There's Exantic, there's um, the Peach, there's um, Reds, there's Harlequin, and you've got three different kinds of Harlequin. Um, there's Pinstripes, um, Quarter Pins, um, Full Pins, there's Phantom Pins. Uh, but anyway, versus like, I don't know, probably like 200 freaking different morphs of... Um, ball python so basically all a morph is is a genetic mutation that affects the coloration of the skin maybe affects the coloration of the eyes so mutations can be harmful or they can be completely harmless they can be completely harmless like in that gecko or they can be harmful in the case of me for instance i have type a hemophilia it's got its benefits. I mean, I'm basically immune to heart attack. Hi, Zelda. But, you know, it, it the bad outweighs the good. Like, um, I could potentially bleed to death very easily. So, um, and it's very rare mutation in the factor A gene. Type A is on the factor A gene. That produces the glue that makes your blood platelets stick together and form a clot. So, Mutations can be harmful in animals too. For instance, like your um, white tigers with blue eyes, nine times out of ten they're blind and deaf. Or your red eye um, lizard. Everybody wants a red eye lizard of some sort. Your red eye iguanas, your freaking Diablo Blanco, Leopard Gecko. Um, all these animals have trouble with eyesight. Very, very, very bad trouble with eyesight. Um, including albino rats. I own two albino rats and um, I really don't agree with people uh, breeding specifically to get that albino gene because again they have 
such terrible eyesight and the reptiles especially have a difficult time eating the rats not so much they can still live a pretty good life in albino rat can um, a lot of albino geckos not so much Zelda here is a more familiar mutation you might um, you might have seen she is a tortoiseshell calico and I'm gonna shake a lot of, I'm gonna get a lot of people shook saying this but uh, tortoiseshell is a form of calico I had a lady actually get pissed off when I said that before tortoiseshell is a type of calico um, and basically what calico is is where the female gets pregnant by multiple males at the same time and all the genes for the hair color fur color are trying to come out all at once um, so with animals it's literally the same thing as people guys and like the same thing that makes your eyes brown blue green blue eyes started as a mutation all right that's the same thing that gives an animal their coloration pattern and Zelda and uh or Zelda Foxy and Simba are fighting again. Simba Anyway So <laughs> good content, right? Anyway, so that that's what gives these animals their coloration, their pattern, all that stuff. It's all in the genes. It's all in the genetics. Alright. I don't know, and maybe my mind's just blown, guys, by, like, the, the amount of diversity that can exist in one species, but, you know. Again, here's another crested. Here's another. Look, I mean, just, just in these two, look how different they look. They both have that pinstripe gene, but the colors are completely different, guys, completely different. Cage too here later. Anyway. And it gets even wilder, guys. Let's go look at the snakes. Try to pick this whole thing up real quick. Mm, too dark right there. It gets even crazier, guys. It gets even crazier. Look at this little beauty. I know I've showed her off before, but look at her. This is a um, bar belly ball python. <laughs> she is loving the camera right now. I wish I still had loose so I could. I mean, that would be a great comparison. Great one to show. Just like huge, 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 huge difference. But. Her. I mean, just 
just imagine that compared to a blue eyed Lucy, say, a, which is basically a solid white ball python with striking electric blue eyes, guys. Or a black eyed, which is the same snake, but just black eyes instead of blue. It's the same species. Like, not a subspecies. Okay, same species. And I'm pretty sure again that their genetic code is shorter than ours I'm pretty sure they don't carry as much genetic information as we do but there's still that huge amount of diversity huge amount of diversity Hold on guys, had a snake escape. And then say compared to this guy, normal ball python, not a whole lot of difference in coloration. The other one just seems to have like yellow in place of the browns and golds, um, and a brighter, lighter belly. But other than that, but still, the same snake. That snake compared to this one, compared to a blue-eyed Lucy or an albino. It's all in the genes. All in the genes. And it, again, maybe it's just me, you know, but I find it amazing the amount of diversity that can exist in one species. In one species, guys. What you doing, bub? You guys can see well, I guess we'll do a little update while we're here. He's doing a lot better. He's still got that scarring on his face. But he is looking much, much, much better than what he did. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty boy. I love you, Tut. It's a good boy. He is such a sweet snake. Even though he likes to be an escape artist. Say that's why we're getting moved to the new tubs. So that way I can't do that anymore. You get in your cage. Go on. Go on, Bubba. Snakes, man. Snakes. So, again, guys. It's all in the genes, it's all in the genetics. All these different colors, patterns, eye colors, all that. It's, all it is is just minor little mutations. That's all they are. It's all amorph is, what it boils down to is it's just a harmless mutation. Well, in most cases, harmless. Um, another instance where a mutation, or Morph can be a harmless mutation is the spider gene. They tend to have neurological problems. The spiders and the inchy ball pythons do, and they'll actually shake their heads while they um, are trying to feed. Yeah, it, it's really bad and really sad to look at, but um, anyway, guys, so I'm running out of time again. Um, I re will revisit this topic in the future when I can figure out how to shoot a longer video without um, having to do it in a couple parts because I'm tired of doing part one, part two. I feel like you guys don't like that either and that might be affecting the amount of views I get. So once I get the GoPro up and going and get some editing software on my um, laptop, yeah, we'll be good to go. But uh, for now, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon. I will see you next time.
Peace out, guys.